season 20 of yes. this. This is huge. Why is this season going to be the best one to date? Well, that's such a milestone. What a milestone for a show mm -hmm. to have reached. Um, we're so grateful for the support we've gotten from the fans for this long that you guys have been watching this show mm -hmm. for 20 seasons now. Um, we haven't been there, Kelly and I, for the whole time, but Blake and Carson have and some of our producers have. And what a journey the show's been on um, for it to have captivated so many minds mm -hmm. and hearts for so long. And, and been a place for so many great singers to uh, be seen and heard. It's been an amazing thing to be a part of. Kelly, I remember when you were coming over because Idol would have been a natural place for you to go. So when you got the voice, what do you remember most about that? Well, and what people don't remember is I was actually on the second season. I was a, um, an advisor for Blake's team and, you know, we're, we were managed by the same people at that point. So like I, before the show even went on air, like I knew all about the voice and I knew what it was going to be. So it, it, for me, it's just really cool to be a part of something that I actually heard of and someone was telling me about on an airplane and then, you know, and it, then being a part of it and full circle for me being able to be an artist from a show like this and, and being able to help other artists achieve um, success. That's, you know, that's pretty cool. Um, but I, I will say, I think the thing I'm most excited about this season though, specifically is I loved the blinds, like the chemistry of all four of us. It was so fun. Um, they moved us around a bit in our chairs and, um, and the talent, like it was just, it's fun. We felt so blessed because we got to be entertained. People were singing for us. Nobody was getting live entertainment. Like a lot of people aren't right now. So, um, but the, I will say like, you know, actually having, you know, Jonas there with us and he was more comfortable to his second time, you know, to do the show. So it was just a really fun, like it was, I, I was like, oh my God, I'm getting paid for this. Like I'd go home yeah. and be so excited. <laughs> Who is the coach to beat? Is it Blake and has he softened now that he's in love, he's getting married, <laughs> to be somebody else this year? Well, it's interesting because our, our champion is, is not on the season because uh, Gwen won her first, um, victory and she isn't back to defend her title but uh she had such a talented young uh singer with carter and uh mm -hmm. it, it was such a great journey for her and him together and now i feel like it's kind of like everybody's on an even playing field except nick because nick has yet to win and i think he's gunning for all of us kelly has blake softened coming after him this season I, girl, you are asking the wrong person. <laughs> he like literally like he just comes on set. I won't even do anything, and he'll just start throwing rocks at me. So I'm just like, why? Leave me alone! Like he, he, he's, he, and you caught him. John's like, why are you even starting in on her? Like he's even. <laughs> I'm like, I didn't even open my mouth yet. He like, I think he just looks forward to just, 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 just jumping on me. <laughs> They're so they're so good together because they they have that brother sister kind of uh, you know vibe with each other and they she gives it as much as uh, he gives it so they they just keep going. he starts it he does start it <laughs> you get the finish you got his number I was like he starts it she knows Sometimes. she knows how to get him though she knows how to go for his jugular <laughs> and I'm not afraid to because he goes for mine so whatever <laughs> one thing I love and you touched on Kelly is the four of you now it really becomes like a family, which we all know is hard to get on these shows. How has mm -hmm. the show helped you both as becoming a family with all the ups and downs? I mean, me personally, this is, I mean, obviously been a rough year for me. So, um, you know, being able to come to work and actually like genuinely loving who you're around and feeling safe in that environment um, with whatever emotion I'm, I'm having and, and also just being able to feed off people that are, you know, even though we're not all talking to each other all day long, we are all of the same, you know, camp in the sense of like, we all are the, those little kids that had dreams that wanted to do something and we made it, you know what I'm saying? So like, even if we're all different, we all have different, you know, paths or vibes, you know, outside of the, the set, um, we all have that and that's there's a there's a lot of comfort in that and the fact that literally coming to work with three dudes that are really even blake you know um being like sensitive and and you know just kind and like a rough time for me that was really helpful for me 
Um, Cause there's nothing. And like you said, I mean, we've all had jobs where you show up and you're like, I wonder how many punches I'll take today. And um, that's not fun. So. I think what I love about our team is that, um, and, and I'm not just talking about those of us on camera, I'm talking about the whole team. Um, mm -hmm. There's not a lot of cynicism. People like genuinely, mm -hmm. um, you know, they've been doing this show for a long time. I haven't been on, on the team for as long, but they really enjoy coming to work. They mm -hmm. really um, put a lot of love and care into putting on a great show, but not just putting on a great show, but, um, giving these artists the best opportunity to shine and to succeed um, that they can. Um, they, they create such beautiful moments for these artists. And what we're trying to do is, is create something transcendent that is like so magical and so powerful um, that, you know, remind us why we love music so much. And when we, when we get it, it's so cool. It's so powerful. It's so beautiful. And hopefully it means a lot to the people out there it's watching. It's inspiring. Yeah. yeah. We need more of this show. By the way, I've been on the set and 100% what y'all say. There's a feeling you get over there. So I can't wait till we get back with an audience and all the stuff. Yeah. Uh, John, that when you posted your ooh la la video, oh my uh -huh. gosh, we were all loving it over here. Uh -huh. So sexy with Chrissy getting the tattoo. What's the inspiration yeah. behind that song? Well, she was. And <laughs> like That's I said, a sexy sound. Like, like <laughs> I said, like I said in my in my post about it, I said she inspired the song, and the song inspired her to uh, to get that get that tattoo. And and Kelly, I have to tell tell you that Kelly, I'm his street team. <laughs> Kelly, I've I never worked with everyone. I've never worked with another artist that showed me as much love for an album of mine. Um, as I, Kelly has shown me for this album and I'm so glad she loves it and she loves Ula. <laughs> it's no joke, like this is no joke. I've never really been like this. Like I <laughs> I have a lot of friends in the industry that make albums that I like and I'm like, oh, this is good. I thought that your record still, like I think that your record is so great start to finish. That is like a thing of the 90s for me. Like, <laughs> like, like I don't, I don't like records like that anymore. And I just thought it was so well produced, so well written. Your vocals were so amazing on it. The songs were like just the right amount of everything, like uh, um, honest, but sensual. It was just so, it was such a great album. I'm thank a street you, team. Kelly. I'm just I'm saying. I'm, I'm like, I'm, I'm just beaming over here. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> and also, if you're looking to make some babies, just press play. <laughs> right? well, I love yeah. the spa tattoo, and I was thinking, Kelly, if you were ever going to get a lyric of yours tattooed on your body, maybe you have, what would you get? Well, I didn't, there's a lot of meaning behind it, but I didn't get the lyric, but like right on my rib cage, I, I have, um, in Morse code, what doesn't kill you? But it's mm. not really so much. It is the song, but there's also other stuff behind it. But is that it? Just it just keeps proving true. <laughs> <laughs> hey, with everybody, like, the it. tattoo that keeps on giving people. <laughs> <laughs> oh, maybe I projected that. <laughs> Jeez. So when did you get that tattoo? Oh, like um, years ago. <laughs> like I can't even remember I mean it, obviously it was after it was after the uh, song stronger came out but it, it was to do with that and then like 80% to do with something else but um but I like getting a, a lot of my tattoos are like reminders of and they're not all struggles but a lot of them are because I am such a forgiving human not to sound like I'm forgiving but I'm so forgiving um and loyal to a fault that I forget like what happens and I'm like, and then you just keep letting you allow the same thing to repeat. So a lot of mine are like, don't do it. Like there's one on my middle <laughs> finger. <laughs> it's like, don't trust it. <laughs> like, so a lot of mine are, are for that reason because I like to believe in the good side of humanity, but you know, it's, it's just, it doesn't always work out. Keep believing. Uh, John and Kelly, if you were going to audition for The Voice, what song of yours would you sing? Ooh. Of mine? Oh, I thought you meant what song. Oh, of mine. I think yeah. I'd probably do, i probably do like Ordinary People because uh, I think, because all of me would be too obvious and then Ordinary People feels like it's 
it's like really heartfelt and soulful and allows your voice to shine. And uh, I would do that. I think if I had to pick for mine, I would, but that was a great one, by the way. Um, yeah. I think if I had to pick for mine, mine would be, it's actually an album track, but Meaning of Life. It's um the it's the name of my album, my last song, but I love the song. So I didn't even I wasn't a writer on it. I just love the vibe of it and I love singing it live and it's got a lot of soul, but it also kind of rocks a bit. So um I'll probably that one. Who do you think uh, the first chair to spin if y'all were up there all day? <laughs> I would turn for Kelly. I know I would I would one I, I've already look, I don't mean to offend any other coach, sure. but I get asked this all the time. They're like, which coach I they don't even finish it. I'm like, John. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, because i i love he like because we've sang together as well and he thinks of things i don't like he'll go to places that have actually been really beneficial for me like we did this window it and i was like wow, i had never i never really go to my mezzo soprano place ever and he just where he goes for his like riffs and where his melodies kind of they're so different from mine and that's what i love about it. i think that's why i'm attracted to it musically is because it's like oh i don't offer that like i want i want some of that so um i think you know i i, I love country music but no I'd, I'd probably go for john i love that i love it so it's so cool though because we get to watch I always tell Kelly she's one of the greatest singers I've ever been around, and that's just a fact. Um, and I, I I knew that since we were on duets together back in the in the back oh, in yeah. the uh, you know ten years ago. But um, so um, awesome. I think it's so cool that even though we're all very different, when you watch, like when all, ever the coach goes up and performs, you just see why they are where they are in their lives. And even though we have so many great singers come through, like. Our coaches are really good at what they do. Wow. Like Blake is really good at singing mm -hmm. a, a country music. He's like, he's got a great voice. It's rich as, you know, he's, he's just, he's really good at it. And we're lucky to be around such great artists all day. Mm -hmm. I love hearing y'all just talk about the intricacies of music. For the time you've been on the show, is there one memory that really sticks out for either one of you or really resonates? Is it that one person or one moment that you really think about? Ooh. Uh, mine is, I know this sounds hilarious, but it literally the first time I turned my chair on the first season I did of The Voice season 14, um, I knew, like I loved Bryn's voice. I heard it like right from the beginning. And I knew when I turned around, I was like, I have a really great chance like of winning The Voice with her. Like she's so amazing and I and, and you could hear like she was very young she was 14 but you could hear like and that guy you sh her record that she's going to come out with y'all she's insane mm. and I always kind of I love everybody I've worked with I've also obviously sang duets with people I've went out with Jay Koo right now and I love his voice our voices sound so cool together but I it's just I think I, something about that first season for me um and and I and I just knew in my my heart and my gut I was like I think she's gonna win the voice like and I and I said it and then it happened. That was so super cool. Love it. For you, John, can you think of one? Well, winning with May Lynn in my first season was pretty magical and memorable. And she's such a, a, a wonderful, gifted singer. And uh, she had some beautiful moments throughout that whole season. Um, I thought one of my favorites was hearing her sing uh, Coldplay. She's, mm. she's just so good. Uh, and she had some just ethereal, magical performances multiple uh, performances like that that just captivated everyone. And it was so cool to win in my first season. That was amazing.